Okay, so to start off um, by maging these boots, you are probably aware that in order to mage any type of item that has a um, 1 MP stat, what you have to do is drop the MP, obviously, so you can get sync. I've had a couple of comments on my Treadfast belt video saying uh, that the damage was shit. I believe it was, um, yeah, because the, um, so see how it says like 7 to 10 damage, and I had like 7 or 8 damage for each of the elements. People were saying that damage was shit, how can I sell the item, uh, the item's trash, stuff like that. But, I'll say it again, uh, it is very important that you need to understand what sync is, because on this item there's no sync anywhere. Um, Whereas on this Treadfast Boots, there is Sync when you drop the MP. Sync is an important mechanic that allows you to mage stats without losing any... Uh, that allows you to over mage or extra mage without losing any stats in the process. So, yeah, I will um, I will be trying to get this item to um, zero crit resistance, of course, because uh, what good is a tread fast item if it has uh, negative crit resist because uh, most people who use this item are usually PvPers, uh, some PvMers obviously, but PvPers, um, if they get use an item that has minus crit resist, okay, I dropped the MP, so as I was saying, if they use an item that has minus crit resist, uh, they'll get killed very easily in PvP. Okay. So let's have a look here, um, in this line I dropped a fire resistance uh, with an, uh, an, a damage rune, so that's 6 minus 5 uh, equals 1 sync, because even though the damage does not land, you still need to count. And here I dropped the MP with water damage, so that's uh, 90 plus 1 from the previous line is 91, minus 5 equals 86 sync. We have 86 sync and vitality is a bit low, but I might leave it because, to be honest, um, we're going to use the sync to fix other stuff. Okay, what I like to do is go in descending order of sync because uh, the earlier runes that you add on, if they crit, it's better. Add this on. Okay, it's minus sync. 86 minus 7 equals 79. Get this fire resistance to maximum. Uh, fail, fail, fail. Okay, so that's minus 24 sync. Uh, equals 55. Okay, now finish off this damage. Minus sync. Minus sync. Okay, that's 10 sync total lost. 45. Alright, that's a, that's a pretty low number of sync. So that means we get 45 tries that crit resist. I'm not going to um, over major vitality because it's too risky. Uh, usually I'd get it up to 438 and then drop it down to 398, but it's too risky because we're pretty low on sync. So let's um, over major crit resist right now. Uh, basically, when we do this, when, when it gets closer to minus one, I stop and then I do it one at a time because when it gets to minus one the sync value is back to being its original of two sync but for now they're all one sync all right so you see there's one crit resist here that crit I'll add another one in and go slowly hopefully we can get to minus one soon come on come on come on now, nah, okay, we're at minus two, out of sync, have to add this back on, hopefully it lands. Nah. Alright, so I will be back when I drop the MP again. So let's have a look here and see how much sync we have. Uh, 23 vitality and one neutral damage dropped. This is, um, it has to be rounded down to 20 because if it rounds up, that means we're going to be, um, we're actually not... It's not 25 vitality, so we have to count it as 4 sync instead of 5. So 4 sync here and 5 sync here, which is 9. 9 minus, uh, nine minus 5 is 4. 
from this line and then we have 90 here minus 5 but it's actually 94 from the previous line so 95 minus 4 uh, 94 minus 5 is 89 okay um just like before i will be fixing the vitality but i think i'll do it last uh put the ap resist crit crit okay minus sync 89 minus 6 equals 83 let's increase the damages up I'm just going to do all of them and then I'll see how many times uh, there was the minus sinks and count down. Come on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 50 sink. Total lost, so that's 83 minus uh, 50 equals 33. Alright, now I'm going to raise the vitality up. Fail. Okay, land. 33 minus 20 equals 13. Okay. Let's put 13 in here. We do this one at a time. Oh, crit. These are not taking any sync because it's dropping the overmage. Okay, so let's get this back to 13 because those didn't take any sync. Okay, that didn't take sync either. So we are going to get this back to 13 again. But all of these did not take any sync. Uh, Alright, 13 attempts at resist. Let's see how many we get. Okay, we got down to minus 8. Let's see if the MP lands. Attach a signature rune because um, I still have a theory that adding signature rune with the MP increases the chance of success, but I don't know. Ah, uh, fail. Alright, I'll be back when it drops again. Here, um, we're in a pretty, I'd say, average situation because damage is near max. However, the power is at 67 and it cannot be modified because if power is above 60 uh, you cannot use power power runes by the 20 multiple rule uh, for the rune limits and also you cannot over measure power using this either um, because it comes out of error message by the 101 sync rule. So power is stuck, uh, vitality is it's um it's moderate. Uh, I think I will be increasing that to 436 and then dropping it down though. But firstly, let's fix these. Oh, firstly, how much sync do we have? First step of doing overmage, you have to calculate sync. Five vitality and one MP loss. That is 91 sync, uh, and then minus uh, five sync for earth damage is 86. Okay, 86. So let's. Um, do fire first because that's lower minus sink minus sink minus sink minus sink uh, so that's four total so it's 86 minus 20 equals 66 okay i will increase the vitality over now nah 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 okay four fails not gonna bother anymore 66 minus 40 equals 26. That's really, really unfortunate to be honest. Okay, let's see how much we get here. Yeah, that was actually extremely unfortunate. Like if vitality increased, it would have been a lot better for us, but uh, unfortunately it didn't. All right, add MP. Do I fail? I'll be back. Calculate the sync from what we see. Okay, so from here we have 7 minus uh, 5, which is 2. Because AP resist is 7 and neutral damage is 5. And then from here I added a fire rune. But it didn't land and it took uh, the MP off. So that's 92 because I'm going to account for the 2 in the previous line. 92 minus 6 is 86. So 
Um, yeah, and this one crit, so we can just ignore that. But uh, let's add up the thing. All right, I'm going to add the vitality first this time because last time it did not land uh, after four attempts because I believe the stats of the item were too good. And usually when the stats of an item are too good, it's hard to overmage. So let's get this up. There we go. A crit. Oh no, not crit. Um, minus sync. Okay. 86 minus 10 equals 76. Now, um, see how this is pretty much 30 vitality over mage. So we need to drop it down with a... Uh, 30 vitality is 6 sync. So we need to drop this down with a rune that is equivalent to 6 sync. I see fire resist here. Add that on. Oh, crit. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, we can add a water damage rune and then an initiative rune. Yeah. Initiative rune here. Yep. We're in the safety range now and we can continue fixing the stats. Uh, just like before, I'm going to be adding all the runes first. And then I'll calculate how many minus sinks we have. Come on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 40. 76 minus 40 equals 36. Um, I'm not going to be adding another AP resist because I don't think we have enough sync for that. But I'm going to be doing 36 crit resist runes straight up like this. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait. Uh, one of them crit. So we can add in one more. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, I will be stopping at near minus one. Oh, oh. All right, that was a bit... I stopped it too slowly. All right. So we have one crit here. Uh, add that in. And then we had... I'm I'm pretty sure this line was a line that where it got from minus two to minus one. So... Working backwards from here, this one here is worth two sync because this is because once all right, so this one is the one where you get to minus one crit resist, so that means anything after this line will be worth uh two sync. So, if that's two sync, that means um, we need to divide wait, hold on, okay. So, 2 sync here plus 7 from before is 9 sync. So, 9 sync uh, minus 2 sync here, that means we have 7 sync, which is enough for only 3 attempts, because uh, 3 is half of 7. Okay. Come on. Yes! Okay. The final step. Hopefully this lands. I have burnt quite a lot of karmas on this before. Um, so let's see if this lands. Uh, actually, I'm going to call my friend to come here and see if he can land this MP rune himself instead of me because I've failed it quite a bit. Yeah, so hold on. All right, here we go. He invited me to workshop. I'm going to share this with him. I'll also give him uh, a signature rune. Wait, what? Doesn't work. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, let's uh, see if he can land it. <sighs> Come on. Oh, my. That is unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so we just dropped the MP on the Treadfast Boots. We're actually in a very good state because power is maximum and it's possible to get maximum vitality as well. Um, yeah, so I dropped 1 MP and 2 water damage, which is 100, minus uh, 21 from the free AP resist is 79 sync. Uh, just like before, I'm going to be asking my friend Iman Polt to... Um, yeah, asking him to try the MP. 
he's a bit um, confused because um, I said 100 minus 21 when usually MP is 90, but that's cause that's because um, I dropped two water damage as well along with the MP. So it's all part of the calculation. Okay, so let's uh, give him everything and might as well fix the stats. How is it 100 minus 21, not 90 minus 21? Because uh, I pretty much dropped two water damage as well, as can be seen in the history. Um, I have been uh, in the same situation as him where someone asks you to mage halfway through and you're always wondering, oh, have you calculated this correctly? Is that the right way? Uh, it, like you pretty much, um, you're worried that the customer, or in this case, I'm the customer. You're always worried that the customer did not calculate the sync correctly. But in this case, I assure him I did. Okay. So that's minus 16 from there, 6 and 10. Uh, so that's uh, 79 minus 6 is 73. Then 73 minus 10 uh, equals 63 sync remaining. Okay. Max vitality, max power. That's good. What we have to do next is fix the uh, stats. He wants to know how much damage I want. I'm going to tell him get to 12 damages first. We'll see how much sync we have left then and then we'll decide whether we should go on to 13 damages or leave it at that. Okay. So that's 53 sync uh, right there because it's 63 minus 10 from 2 damages. I wanted to add 1 AP resist because we need it to be at 6 minimum. Alright, the crit uh, 53 sync. I'm satisfied that we can make it up to max damages because let's say we get all four of them landing, we'll have 33 sync left, and that's uh, well, it's usually a bit low for getting crit resist, but it's actually not too bad. The main, the main thing that I'm uh, yeah, 33, I wanted to add in the neutral damage as well. We'll probably go down to 28. The main thing I want to do here is to get maximum damages more than getting the crit resist because at the moment there's a ton of boots in the market that have zero crit resistance on them. However, none of them have maximum damages. So I want to get maximum damages uh, as my number one priority. 23 crit resist, therefore we get... Uh, 23 sync, therefore we get 23 tries at the crit resist. Uh, 23 tries at the crit resist uh, before it reaches minus 1. When it gets to minus 1, we have to change over. Uh, to. Uh, we need to account for the fact that it will be worth 2 sync each from then on. Uh, I do not expect to be able to get 0 crit resist because we had pretty low sync at, at the start, 23. So wherever, wherever we reach is wherever we reach, um, I guess. So sync is out. I'm going to tell him to add the MP with the signature rune um, because I am quite... Uh, I want to test the theory that attaching a signature rune with the final rune will increase the chance of landing. I don't care uh, if he puts his own signature rune as well uh, because I just want to land this. He ran out of signature runes, so I'm going to give him some. Yeah, um, I do not care if his signature is on the item as long as he lands the item because I just want this to be done. I don't care if it says mage by him and not me uh, because I've failed this around 10 times now, so if he lands this, that would be pretty nice. Transfer all visible items, all the signature, uh, all the runes necessary for the mage are there. And I will, um, yeah, pray that this lands, I guess. Three, two, one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Absolutely beautiful. There's no words to describe this. It's purely utter gold maximum vitality maximum power and maximum damage absolutely 
beautiful. This would definitely be um, a suitable item for a PVMer because, uh, well, PVP, I guess, as well. Uh, but it does have minus five crit resist, so that's quite a bad thing. If it had zero crit resist, it would sell for two million karmas more than what it would sell for right now, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, uh, we, we left the AP resistance at six as well, so that's probably like 500,000 karmas off the price. But uh, we did have maximum neutral, uh, maximum damages. Okay, uh, I'm going to give him uh, 10 signature runes as a reward. Even though he didn't do much, he'd probably just fix the stats. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I like to be nice and give people stuff when they help me out. Yeah, so that's uh, a pretty good mage. Um, at the start of the video, you guys have probably heard me say that um, uh, I did compare the maging processes of uh, Treadfast Belt and Treadfast Boots. I just want to stress that it, it is very important that you understand what the concept of sync is. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look at my boots. 13 damage is all. The belt um, that I made in one of my previous videos, you'll see that uh, it had very bad damages, but that's because there's no sync. You can understand that in this item, there is sync. Therefore, it allows me to fix the damages uh, without... It allows me to fix the damages without uh, losing any other stats. And also allows me to put the crit resist without losing any other stats. So, so far I'm torn between um, 7 million and 8 million. We can see there's a couple of items here. Uh, it turns out that there is one that is 13 damages. However, it's minus 16 crit resist and is 2% fire over mage. Uh, the vitality is low as well. It's 383 out of 400. So I'm pretty sure mine is better than that one. This one, uh, 8 million, zero crit resist. Uh, these two, zero crit resist and damages is 12 and 13. But um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be better than mine. Yeah, that's better than mine. The stats are pretty nice as well. Zero crit resist, even though the, the damages is a bit missing. I'm pretty sure that, that that's better than my one. So I will be, um, mine's better than 7.5 million karma one and less than 8 million. So I will be putting this for 7.7 .7 million in between. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look at it again. 7.7 .7 million uh, is my one. And the 7.5 million one is uh, a bit less than mine because it's worse than mine. And the 8 million right uh, below mine is also um, a bit better than mine. So mine goes well in between. If you guys um, want to help me out, feel free to buy the item. It's a very nice item. Uh, it's probably the best boots I've ever seen, except for the fact that it is not zero crit resist. But max power, max damage, max vitality is really nice. Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you at the next one.